I have a lot of ambitions and goals that I want to achieve in para badminton. Um, I want to, well, I'm glad that I was able to get selected into the Paralympic Games, first of all. Um, I'd like to get a medal at an international event. Um, and I would also like to qualify for the world champs if they happen this year. Um, and I'd like to um, win nationals and win Oceania's again. Um, this was actually a really hard question to answer. Um, so the biggest tactical and physical factors in my class, which is SL4, is that we stand, but we, we play like a full court, but we do have some impairment in the lower leg. So I guess it's the fact that we're trying to um, get the opponent to move and if, yeah, hit, I guess hit good shots. That's the main thing in our games that we have to hit good shots. So we're making the opponent move, but it might mean that we don't have to move as much or that we know where the shadow is going so we can step in and either kill the shot or drop the shot. Yeah. In standing, there's, well, four categories. So there's short stature. So they play the full court um, and obviously um, with them, they are a lot faster, but their smashes wouldn't go down as far because they wouldn't be able to get the angle on the smash. Um, and then you've got SL3, which plays half a court. So with SL3 players, they have more of an impediment in their lower legs than SL4 players. So with them, you'd have to have a lot of more endurance because a lot of their rallies can last 50 to 100 shots because they've got such a small court space that they're working with. Then you've got SL4s, which is my category, which is that we have a minor impediment in the lower leg. Um, and so we play full court, and that's why you need to make sure you hit good shots in ours as well. Then you've got SU5s, which is when they've got uh, imp um, impairment to the upper arm. So they've got full range of their legs. So they, their difference is, I guess, serving might be a bit different. So they might use one hand to serve the shadow or they might put the shadow on their stump to serve it and then they let go. So they might also have some balance issues if they can't put their other hand up to balance when they're doing a clear or a drop. And then you've got the wheelchair categories, which is obviously harder because they're in a um, wheelchair and they have to um, conquer the different movements in the wheelchair, but they also play in half a court as well. And there's lots of endurance as well. So hopefully that's sort of giving you an insight into the different categories. There's actually a lot of interesting facts in Parabellmonton, and especially in my class. Yeah. Um, so my class has such a large range of scope of disabilities. So I've got right-sided cerebral palsy. Um, and then there's a girl in my class that's just got a leg length difference. So as a person with cerebral palsy, I have a weakness in my right side. So I'm going against somebody who, yeah, has a leg length difference. And in badminton, that's not a large disability because you're supposed to be on your toes. So when she's on her toes, that leg length difference doesn't impact on her plane. Oh, the short statures. Um, yeah, the short statures are amazing to watch. They dive and they jump smash. And yeah, it's really cool to watch the um, short statures because they actually train to land so when they dive they actually have to train to land safely and dive safely so mm. then they can get back up quickly and retrieve the next shadow so yeah. the um, top guys in sh um, short stature are absolutely amazing <laughs>